Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to discuss about types of engineering researchers. So there are several types of engineering researchers, but we are comparing uh, all those things with respect to another. For example, the first way, first one we are having the, the descriptive versus analytical research and then we are having applied research versus fundamental research whereas applied becomes uh, uh, very advanced research uh, and fundamental becomes a very basic uh, re kind of research next we are having quantitative versus qualitative research so let's discuss one by one so what do you mean by this uh, descriptive uh, versus analytical so descriptive usually it's nothing but your uh, uh, having uh, a descriptive way or uh, writing like a hypo for hypothesis or a normal uh, writing uh, uh, or stating the problem theoretically all those things comes under a descriptive which may not have uh, the critical evaluation or analysis whereas analytical will have uh, the uh, it totally depends on the facts okay for a for analysis and critical evaluations which, which has been used so let's see descriptive research includes a comparative or a correlation methods that means it uses comparative and correlation methods it just compares one with another and fact finding inquiries that means it uh, gives efforts to fa fa find to find the facts uh, when while comparing two or more researchers okay to effectively describe a present state of art or present state of that particular problem uh, the researchers holds no control over this particular uh, descriptive research because uh, the research holds no control over the uh, variables okay so rather only the reports as it is for example when i have to compare uh, descriptive research means i will be comparing two people have worked in some particular uh, method imagine okay and i will be comparing both so these people did this thing these people did this thing all those things and all so here i don't have any control over those uh, variables or the parameters what they have used you are just reporting it like what we do in the review of literature next descriptive research also includes attempts to determine causes even though the variables cannot be controlled so even though variables cannot be controlled we can have some certain of attempts we can make some attempts to determine the what exactly the cause uh, uh, in order to have this particular variables uh, which are going beyond or uh, out of control or something like that so we can have that particular uh, uh, the causes can be determined with the help of descriptive research but we cannot have control over variables because here you are just comparing you are just correlating the uh, different methods or different theories or different hypotheses i hope you understood what is descriptive right on the other hand we are having analytical research where it's already available facts so in analytical what happens already available facts for analysis and critical evaluations are utilized so that means already the facts are there here you are not going to find the facts okay so some research studies can have both descriptive and as well as analytical uh, uh, researches i hope you understood the difference between descriptive and analytical see i don't you don't have to write whatever the sentence i am giving here you can write it by in words but all we have to do is you have to understand the concepts okay applied versus fundamental research applied in the sense something there is a big problem is there you are going to solve it as a uh, immediately or uh, as soon as possible then it is comes under applied kind of research whereas fundamental research it's like a you are under trying to understand the basic phenomena or a natural phenomena or a you know a pure science what is behind this okay so that is called as fundamental research so research can be either uh, be applied research or a fundamental research or we can say that basic or a pure research whereas applied research seeks to solve immediate problems facing the organization okay whatever the organization or whatever the scientific community or the society is facing the particular problem okay if you are addressing that particular problem then you are you are following the applied research whereas the fundamental research which will act as a basic or a pure research okay is concerned with the generalization and formulation of the theory there is a there are a lot of theories you are going to generalize those theories you are going to formulate the particular theory uh, that can happen in fundamental research here you are not addressing the bigger problems where you are going to identify the or generalizing the problems 
or formulating the the theory which can give you the possible solutions that comes under basic research whereas applied research seeks to solve an immediate problem so research concerning natural phenomena or relating to a pure mathematics these are all examples of fundamental research wherever the pure mathematics is there the natural phenomena is there which requires a basic knowledge so that comes under basic or a fundamental research so research to identify social or economic trends are examples of applied applied science or applied research see when i am talking about uh, the basics it's about natural thing and already in the basic things whereas when you are talking about so uh, identify to identify the social or economic trends how they are going that this and all the current what is the trend and all so that is keeps changing right so for that we need applied research that means it keeps it keeps on add on so the in base fundamental research uh, it's actually a constant the uh, laws of nature uh, laws of nature are constant right like that but when it comes to the socio economic trends and uh, management trends or the particular trends which are happening in political science or maybe any kind of field you take so that requires applied research where the updated research day by day it has to be there that's why it is called as applied research the primary objective of the applied research is to determine the solution for compelling problems so for example you are having the applied science that is to determine the solution okay for a immediate problem right so here whatever the immediate problem is there you can also say it as a compelling problem in actual practice while basic research is nothing but what it is aimed at seeking the information which could have a broad base of applications in the medium or long term use so here we can categorize as uh, applied research to solve the problem whereas basic research is to understand the problem and seek information about the problem and how we can solve it so that was about the applied and basic research now speaking about the last one that is quantitative versus qualitative research whereas quantitative research uses the statistical observation okay here quantity right so it requires it will have some values so that's why it is called as statistical observation of a sufficiently large number of representative cases to draw any conclusions so i can say that a particular uh, research has been done and we came to know that we got around uh, around 10000 nanoparticles of spherical shape and around 5000 nanoparticles of size around pentagon size and all so these are the statistical observations that i am going to make here right that will rep uh, represent uh, many cases so that we can i can conclude that the majority of the nanoparticles are in spherical shape so i can use this particular uh, sample uh, or the calculations as a sphere rather than the pentagon or hexagon because they will be having very less in number so that's the way the quantitative research comes to picture whereas qualitative researchers rely on the few non representative cases so it will not be the representative cases or based on the statistical observation at all it is totally based on the non representative cases or you can say that verbally verbal narrative so okay in behavioral studies such as clustering effect so in clustering effect also it happens like that so for example in the interse intersection in uh, transportation uh, sorry transportation engineering to make uh, proposition and all we will have so here it induces the correlation uh, between the observations so whether this has to be the observation within the cluster are correlated and as well as the observation from the separate clusters are also indep uh, independent that, that's how the clustering effect works in based on the transportation engineering to make a proposition how how exactly these things can be done so for example if the particular uh, the loads are coming how many loads uh, might take how much time it might take or uh, how how much uh, the fuel it might take those things all things comes the all the information gathered in the clustering effects so they are verbal narrative non representative cases we don't have the proper conclusion because we are talking about the verbal narrative whereas quantitative it will have the statistical observation whereas qualitative it will not have the statistical observation so that's it that was the uh, that was about uh, different uh, types of the engineering research we have descriptive versus analytical applied versus fundamental qualitative versus quantitative so next topic we are having the finding and solving a worthwhile problem that we will discuss in the next class